loyalty squad this is the velvet locks back with another cooking it up in the kitchen video now today i am in the mood to make some mm -hmm, yes right some chili now i realize i haven't made one of those meals on my channel for you guys to see how i make my special chili all right and this is something that i like to do in the winter time especially because i consider that comfort food all right, so let's get with the, the ingredients that you're going to need to make this wonderful chili. All right, now, being that I'm cooking for a big family, this is a three and a half pound pack of ground beef. I'm also going to use one big white onion. I'm going to, of course, use my chili powder. I'm also going to be using some black pepper, some onion powder, also some garlic powder, and of course i'm also going to be using my seasoned salt now i like a lot of beans in my chili so i'm going to be using a one pound 13 ounce can of red kidney beans as well as another 15.5 ounce can of red kidney beans so i'm going to be using a lot of beans you guys lots of beans and of course i love stewed tomatoes yes stewed tomatoes and some chili Woo! so i'm going to be using two cans now these cans are both 14.5 ounces and of course you must use some sauce. So today's sauce is going to be my Prego mushroom sauce. All right. Okay, so now that we got our pan warmed up, what I'm going to do is start browning my chopped meat and start browning it. Now I forgot to mention that along with my chili, I will be making some brown rice. So I'm putting some oil in my rice as well as some salt just for taste. So you just stir that up until it's brown. Now I'm going to take my onion and dice it into pieces. Next, I'm just going to continue to brown my ground beef. Alright, so our meat is finished browning. So now we're going to add in our chili powder. Now this is to taste, this is based on your flavor of taste, but I like a lot of my chili powder in my chili. I like my chili to taste like chili. Now this is hot chili powder, so you already know. Your girl loves it spicy. So what I normally do is I put my chili powder in first so that it can actually, you know, get a nice flavor on the ground beef while it's still browning. Now I also like to add in some regular uh, garlic. So I'm going to be putting some of that in as well. So I'm going to put like a, maybe about a tablespoon of that in there. Matter of fact, make it two. And now I'm just going to put in the rest of my other dry seasonings. My black pepper. Okay. And, and this is all to taste. My seasoned salt. my garlic powder and my onion powder and I'm just going to stir that in I like to add in my chopped onions. And 
I like to also put in my sauce. So I'm going to throw, put in as much of my sauce. Now this is a, a four pound, three ounce bottle of, of tomato sauce. Now I'm getting ready to put my stewed tomatoes, which I love adding stewed tomatoes to my tomato sauce. It really gives it a nice flavor. Okay. Now I'm gonna put in all of my beans. Now what you're gonna do for the beans, when they come in the can, you have to drain the juice out of it. All right, so I'm gonna throw that away, drain that out, and then pour my beans in my sauce. And now I'm gonna add that into my chili as well. Well, into my sauce. Now see, it looked like a lot of beans, but it seems like I may have to throw in one more can of beans because I like my, my chili nice and beany. So I'm gonna throw in one more can of my Goya red beans. All right, so now that we got all of our stuff inside of it, all of our nice ingredients, um, I'm gonna let this stew down a little bit, get those beans cooking really well. But so far, it tastes really good. Okay, let me just double check that. I'm just gonna add a little bit more seasoned salt. And then I'm gonna let this cook down and simmer down until it's officially cooked. All right, you guys, so this is definitely on its way, it's almost cooked. It just need a little bit more simmering down. But this is my specialty chili. I love it. All right, so I'm just gonna let it cook down some more before I show you the finishing results. All right, you guys, there is the finishing product of my chili and brown rice. All right, and I also made some Caribbean carrot juice. So if you wanna know how to make our authentic Jamaican carrot juice as a side beverage, stay tuned for that video. I got it coming for you guys. But yes, you guys, this is my dinner and I am getting ready to enjoy right now. So thank you so much for joining me on this segment of Cooking It Up with Velvet Locks, all right? And until the next video, I will see you then. Bye. Fam, where you going? You didn't subscribe yet. Well, listen, first of all, before you go, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget also to turn on that notification bell, so this way you will not miss another one of my videos, okay? Make sure that you hit that subscribe button, click it, and then hit that little bell, and make sure that it's lit. You will miss out on so much if you don't hit that subscribe button, and also, Hit that bell next to it. Make sure that it's turned on so this way when I upload another video, you will not miss it at all, okay? You will be the first to know. So don't forget, give me those likes, thumbs up, and hit that subscribe button along with the bell at the bottom and you will always know when I upload another one of these videos, okay? So, I'll see you in the next video.